I want to show you a quick and easy way to create your own custom backgrounds like these. Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. Shall we begin? So the first thing you want to do is establish your background color. Now you want to go ahead and add a new layer. So just click on the plus icon. Now go up to your tools and choose your brush. And you want to make sure that your brush hardness is zero and you can make your brush a little bit bigger or smaller. I'm going to take it up. Now you want to go ahead and choose whatever color you want. So I'm going to go for like a cyan and I'm going to click on that color. Click OK. Now I'm going to increase my brush head by pressing on my right bracket. And I'm just going to do a big sweet paint in here, something like this. And I'm going to create another layer and we're going to change our foreground color. We're going to choose something almost in the honey mustard yellowish gold and I'm going to paint on this layer I'm going to do something like this now we want to go ahead and add another layer and I'm going to change my foreground color to this deep blue and I'm going to paint somewhere here so I have something like this now you can add more if you want to your color and paint over if you want. Click on each of the layers and add a gush and blur effect. So we're gonna click on our cyan, go to filter, blur, gush and blur. Now you want to basically create this blur effect. So you can take it to whatever level you want, but I'm just going to basically take it to a thousand uh, radius and I'm gonna click okay. And I'm going to repeat that also for the blue and I'm going to go to Blair, Gush and Blair and I'm going to do the same thing. So we have this effect. I like the way it looks. I'm going to click OK and we're going to apply the same effect on the yellow. So I'm going to go to Blair. Now you can choose to go to Blair, Gush and Blair or if you want the same settings you used before, you can just go ahead and click on Gushen Blair and that so this is how you can easily create your own custom gradient background in any color of your choice. Now you can take it a step further and I want to show you how you can achieve another gradient effect. So with this one we want to create a very simple background. So I'm going to go ahead and click on gradient. We're going to go ahead and choose like uh, within the, I'm going to choose something like this and we're going to go ahead and increase this one a little, almost like that. And then I'm going to change the purple just a little. So it's more all, almost on the light side and not too much. And we're going to click OK and okay i'm going to pick my shape i'm going to pick my eclipse and i'm going to draw a shape like that and then i'm going to fill that in i'm going to go ahead and fill that in with white and come out of that now i want to go ahead and add some effects to this so i'm going to double click to bring my layer style and i'm going to add a gradient overlay and I'm going to just play with this effect. So I'm moving the opacity so it's not too strong. And I want this in an angle. Add another effect, which will be an inner glow. And I'm going to click on that. And what I want to do is that I want to change this to color dodge. And I'm going to go ahead and increase and increase my size so I get a nice glow. I'm going to change the angle so I have something like this and I'm going to move my spread back just a little. So we want to go ahead and add a drop shadow and I'm going to double click on it. Now notice that I have almost like um, a pink but you can make it multiply. We're going to change that to multiply and I'm going to increase my spread. I'm going to take this spread back a little 
and increase my distance and increase my spread and take my distance back so i have this glow effect but it's not too much click ok so now that we have this we want to make a duplicate so command j make a duplicate of this we're going to set that right there and we are going to just go ahead and scale it down like this double click and we have the same effect now i want to go into my filter blur gaussian blur and before i can make any changes i need to convert this to a smart object now we can go ahead and add our blur effect now i'm going to take this down so it's not too much i'm going to click ok and i'm going to make another copy command j make a copy move that set that here and you want to click ok because you want to transform this we're going to make this very small and go back to filter blur gaussian blur and we want to even blur this out more now we can go ahead and create another copy command j now this is almost like picking uh placing these bubbles wherever you want go to filter blur gaussian blur and we are going to actually increase this one so we have more uh, of a blur effect for this one i'm gonna go ahead and click ok now you can also add custom shapes to your final design so i'm gonna pick my curvature pen tool and i'm just going to try and trace some nice or cool design um here like so and i'm gonna close it off now i'm going to click on my shape to accept it and i want to fill this in so i'm going to pick my fill and do a white and i'm going to come out of this so the next thing is to copy the layer styles effect for my eclipse and i'm going to apply that onto the new shape that i have created you want to right click and say that paste layer style so that effect has been applied to this now we can zoom out and you can take the shape you can go ahead and scale it up more if you want so with this set you can go to filter blur and we want to add a gaussian blur now we need to convert this into a smart object so we can add our effect to it we can go ahead and apply our blur effect and we can either increase it or decrease it depending on how you want it we can go ahead once we're satisfied click ok and we can still move our shape and position it the way we want i hope this tutorial was very helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share this with your friends i will see you in the next tutorial bye y'all